Geneticists are trying to figure out if certain genes can explain differences in behavior like thrill-seeking, aggression, and nurturing. For every 100,000 people who enjoy hiking in the mountains, for example, only one or two feel the need to climb to the top of Mount Everest. How can we explain this variation in behavior? How much does it have to do with family background or life experience? Or are some people just born wanting to take on extreme challenges? Research over the past few years has shown that the genetics behind complex behavior is trickier than we first thought. Differences in behavior aren't the result of one, two, or even a handful of genes. Consider the most famous of lab insects, the lowly fruit fly, known to scientists as Drosophila melanogaster. These fruit flies naturally fight over food, like who gets access to a tasty piece of rotten banana. Researchers now think the activity of 4,000 of the fruit fly's 15,000 genes determine how tough the insects will get with each other. So if the genetics of behavior is that complicated in a fruit fly, imagine how complicated it would be for a human. After all, the brain of a fruit fly contains around 100,000 neurons, while the brain of a human contains 100 billion neurons, or a million times as many neurons as a fruit fly. The bottom line? Any study claiming a single gene can predict whether you're gay, prone to violence, a liberal, or a conservative is probably not going to pan out in the end. Nor are we likely to ever find a gene for extreme mountain climbing. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm Christine Gorman.